our new UDP leader has started off on a wrong path by telling an outright lie. When asked by Channel 7's Jules Vasquez on the convention grounds whether he would purge or remove from the party's Central Executive Council persons he felt had been loyal to Patrick Farber, Shine said no. You have to flush the loyalists of the former leader and there are many Farberites who remain in various uh, senior positions in the party. What will you do now to instill Shine Barrow's leadership and loyalty? At the highest level. You know, that is, that is not how I'm thinking. I, I love this party. And part of a democracy is that you will have dissent. So my position has never been to have any type of hatred towards people that were not supporting me. Wise people actually take those that were against them and get them to join forces with them just because that person uh, may have voted uh, for Tracy or may have been a Faber proponent. I am not, uh, my instinct is not to get rid of anyone. That's not how I think. Well, two days later, that's exactly what Shine did, removing dedicated UDPs from the Central Executive Council just because he considered them to be loyalists of Patrick Faber. First, the UDP Secretary General Carol Bab, who says she was resigning anyway, has since been asked to leave the building. Reports also say that Denton Belial, Roosevelt Blades, Delroy Kilkelvin, Ruben Campos, Philippa Griffith, Lisbeth Novello, Carlos Perdomo and Dean Williams have been removed from the central executive and replaced by loyalists to Shine Barrow. But I ask you and you, 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 you had, I, I, I had to give you the answer and you went in the other direction and spoke an untruth and said, no, 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 I don't do that. Not Shine Barrow. I find out who could work with me, sir. You, but you, then what? Okay. You cleaned house. You see. How can you lead our party or the country when we cannot trust you to tell the truth or keep a simple promise?